everybody. I am making this video in response to a video called, hang on, let me scroll up over here. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's called Pot Sucks. Okay, and it's from, well, I'm going to post it on this guy's, this guy's channel, so. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, this, this dude right here, because, um, he's talking about, you know, I, now I live in the United States, and I'm assuming, you know, I'm assuming he does too. But I just started his video, and some of the things that he's he's saying, um, he's not thinking before he says them. Um, okay, your statement about um, promoting marijuana. Okay, um, I think that. Um, it should be regulated, yes. You talk about smoke all you want, just don't drive. Well, guess what? I can't drive. You know why? Because I have epilepsy, and my seizures are not under control. And, you know, I'm, I'm hearing and I'm seeing proof that um, medicinal marijuana has and is helping control seizures. So hey, um, you talk about um, <clears throat> it's good to promote um, healthy lifestyles and um, healthy dietary lifestyles and etc 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 well you know what if you I have to take three three different medications for epilepsy Lamictal Capra and Clonazepam and those are three among many other medications that I am on. Um, and I take vitamins on top of these medications to try and make myself feel halfway decent um, and not feel um, some of the side effects of those medications that I have to take to, to control my seizures, which obviously, since I was in the hospital this past weekend, um, aren't, aren't doing their job. So I'm really kind of getting scared. I don't, you know, my options are, are limited. Um, And I think for you to uh, sit there on your little video and talk about, um, it's not, you know, like, uh, you know, cause it's just not. No, it is. Yeah, I'm watching your video. So take responsibility for that. You know, you want to, you want to, you know, you want to get on the bandwagon. You want to push your agenda. Then you, that means you got to take responsibility for your agenda. So. Okay, let me tell you one thing. If you, and I, maybe I'm wrong, you, maybe you do, have, if you have epilepsy, uncontrolled, violent grandma seizures, you would be busting your ass, running around, trying to have people on your side to write their congressman or sign a petition or something like that to legalize marijuana, 
regulate, excuse me. Um, I'm with um, Russ on that, you know, legalize slash regulate. I agree with him on those those terms. Uh, you you would you'd be on you'd be on my side um, because I do think it should be available to um, people who are sick, such as me, um, and I know a lot of other people who have epilepsy who have, um, their seizures aren't controlled by pharmaceutical, pharmaceuticals either. Um, and, uh, I think you are pushing your agenda. Um, I don't want to have, I, you know, I wouldn't want to smoke pot so I could just get... Hey man, I'm wasted. I'm just gonna sit here and you know just watch the walls. That's not that's not what I what I would want it for. I want it because I don't want to have seizures. Let me let me tell you one thing. If you ever ever have the experience of in your life ever in your lifetime of having a grand mal seizure. You will know what the hell I'm talking about. And not like I said, you will be on my side. A grand mal seizure is the worst thing I have ever experienced in my life. And the other day when I had four, I had four in one day. That whole day, it's gone. It's lost. And I'm going to end right there. Because... This, I'm, I'm getting so upset, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Anyway, um, hey, uh, Russ, if you're out there, if you watch this, hello, and tell Christina I said hi, and I hope you guys are doing good, so I'm out.